everybody and welcome to another edition of the uh, Disney pin trading and collecting vlog uh, my name is Dan and I wanted to talk today about another one of the original pins uh, that was put out for pin trading as a cast lanyard exclusive and uh, that would be the Pocahontas and John Smith heart pin the uh, pin itself is dated 2002 and on the back it says official Disney pin trading and cast lanyard series and the cast lanyard series actually was developed uh, for cast members to be able to trade with the public and they weren't available for sale anywhere else and most of these pins for the most part these pins uh, do not have the hidden Mickey symbol on them like what we see on the cast lanyard pins today the hidden Mickey series pins uh, so this one does not it also doesn't have the waffled Mickey head back uh, that uh, we've become accustomed to of late it uh, right now is about a 16 year old pin getting ready to turn 17 so it does have a little bit of age on it and uh, is just a really cool pin now the cloisonne pins uh, which the way they're made is the metal is stamped which causes ridges and then they fill in those stamped ridges uh, with either enamel or uh, colored melted glass however they're going to create the colors in that pin and that's how those pins are made uh, this particular pin, once it was stamped, it was filled in the heart around the figure, just leaving the metal stamped image of Pocahontas and John Smith uh, to stand out in the center of the heart. So kind of a unique, cool looking pin uh, in that aspect. So you can kind of see the stamping and how they could have filled that in with color had they chosen to, uh, but uh, just from a artistic viewpoint decided to leave that just the metal stamped. Uh, to bring that out. It is part of a series uh, of the Heart Collection and uh, there were several of them that came out that same year. If you have any of the other ones, of course send me a picture. Um, put a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about it. I just um, I'm glad that I'm able to bring you some of these older pins that you may not always get to see uh, with the new ones coming out almost daily. I mean really there are thousands and thousands and thousands of uh, Disney pins available right now in just about every niche, every genre you can think of. So if you've ever wanted to think about collecting, I collect as a whole. I pretty much go by how the pins look and how they make me feel, not necessarily a single type. But if you just want to collect a certain character or if you just want to collect Disney rides or if you just want to collect a certain park, um, you know, there, there are so many different ways you could break that up to start your Disney pin collection. Uh, also, I wanted to let you guys know today that, I mean, you can follow me on other venues, uh, on Facebook. We do have a pin collector page. Just look up pin collector and hop on board. And then I do have my pin picks page up that I'm starting to add my whole collection to, uh, which, uh, you can find at HAPA 1964 on pin picks. So uh, I would love to see you there. Click the like button if you're liking the content of these videos. Leave me a comment, uh, good or negative. I'm always trying to improve. I want, the, I want this vlog to become something that has value to everybody who takes the time to watch it and listen to me talk. So as always, subscriptions are free. Hit that button. Have a great day.